Holy shit! Oh my god, I got a hilt! Okay, uh, alright. That's how you do it. Uh, alright, staff, that's like absolutely amazing. And someone just typed to me. Holy shit, alright, well... I didn't want to get the sight because I was like, I really don't want a melee weapon because I have like the worst strength level and all that. But the eye is like the second best thing. I wanted the bow the most, but come on, the eye, that is absolutely amazing. I'm for sure going to make the staff if I do uh, get the last piece, which I'm going to be trying for in this video as much as I possibly can. And holy shit, that is a way to start a video. God damn it. So I'm currently working on making 125-ish overload potions, 3 dose, which is going to last me a very long time on Araxor. I think I did my first like 100 kill plus on that amount, so we're going to be able to do a lot of PVMing with that. But currently I have like 5 doses overall in the bank. So yes, I do need to do this, and I did complete an extreme magic potion challenge, and I didn't extend it because I kind of want to keep the potions to make as many overloads as I can. Not really rushing 99 in herb lore anyways, but I'm going to be hitting 93 on this challenge, so let's just do that real quick. And there we go, 93, and my total is now 2330, and let's see what we get from this one. We Did I just get one quorum and 800 GP? That's terrible. I've never seen such a bad daily reward ever, wow. So now that I've done pretty much all the important quests that I need, I still need one quest which is within the light or a light within, I can't remember the difference, but it's the ones that gives the seven prayers, I kind of still need that. But the thing is, now that I don't really have like a questing goal to go for, and I'm just trying to get Araxor kills and trying to get that Ascension Signet from the Quintus one, which takes a long time, like farming Quintus keys takes a very long time, for example, 10 of them may might take like 7 hours or more to get. So yeah, it is quite a grind on that part, but I want something to do in between that So if I want to farm a uh, Quintus case for like an hour or two I can do that But after that I'm not really sure what to do if Araxor for example is blocked on the path that I need Which it currently is I can't do Araxor now Which is kind of a bummer because the only piece that I do need I even have the hilt I have the eye now um, You can see that right there and you saw in the last clip and I only need the last leg piece Which is the top one and when I get that I have a tier 90 weapon a tier 90 magic weapon and then if I get the last signet which you can see here I have five five of them and I need the Quintus one if I get that one I will be able to get a tier 90 crossbow which I then will do some dungeoneering to get an offhand chaotic crossbow so I would pretty much have like tier 90 ranged tier 90 uh, magic weapon and then melee is the only one I miss but I hate melee like I rarely do melee but I might actually do um, Calfight King for that but that's going to have to be when I do get those tier 90 already either magic or when I get ranged so I think I just want to try to do some uh, skilling now and I'm going to train up my skills I might do some wood cutting I might do some you know other skills just to get closer to max because I don't really feel like I have any really important quests to do still I guess the a light within or light I don't know what the exact name of it is I guess that is fairly important it is the um, the one that uh, unlocks this one seven prayers I might need to do that and I want to get 80 agility to be able to do that um, but I don't really have any like big questing goals and that's why I think a lot of the future clips is going to be you know of course Araxor and Ascension creatures but also it's going to be a lot of like skilling levels which is uh, it's pretty cool because I really need to level my skills up uh, to get closer to max so let's do that so I just hit 79 farming and I really want to get to 91 that's pretty much the end goal of farming and then obviously 99 after that but at 91 you can make fell stocks and fell stocks is needed to make prayer renewals in herb lore and that I don't have yet so that's going to be great to get uh, if I do get that I'm going to save so many prayer pots like I barely really need prayer potions at places like for example ascension creatures I can just use prayer renewals with for example a vampirism aura and I should be completely good there so that's a really good thing to get. I'm not sure if you can boost it, but if you can, please let me know. I don't think you can, but if you can, that's great, obviously. But 79 farming, one more level until 80, which is a milestone level. So woodcutting is one of those skills that I haven't done anything with really except just a bit and like quest rewards since I was doing Priftenas. So when I needed to get into Priftenas I needed 76 woodcutting. I got that and then I did questing and just 
like small AFK woodcutting parts where I go to 77 and then now for the past day I've been doing three levels straight in a row and uh, yeah that's another milestone level so that's pretty sweet I think overall I got like 700,000 experience in woodcutting maybe a bit less actually like 600k uh, so it's pretty good and I just wanted to hit 80 really to have another milestone level which is pretty damn nice. So I was actually 78 hunter, but I thought, ah, oh, that's close enough to 80 and I want to get another 80 skills. I'm actually doing that right now. But something that just came into the game is a clue event where you can get a free clue scroll from this guy every single day, I do believe. I'm not sure, but I do guess that is the way it works. And well, it's based on total level. So I do believe that if you have like 2000 total or something like that, you get a hard clue scroll. And if you're like 2400 or maybe 2500 or something, you get an elite clue scroll. So it's really, really high requirements for that that's at least what people from my French had to say that you can read it here and anyways uh, I do believe that this was not available for Iron Man to start off with but they hot fixed it so I can now claim it and we're going to do a hard clue scroll and I do believe you get a free daily reroll as well so uh, that is a hard clue scroll so we're going to be doing that and hopefully we can reroll that and get something cool Alright, here we have the casket, and from this I should get a free reroll because of this event, but I'm not sure, and I have no idea how it looks, if it just looks the same or different, so let's open this and see what we get. Alright, what, what the hell is this? Festive box hard? Alright, well, yeah, okay, so I have a free reroll, but I'm not going- I don't know, do you always get this? That's the- that's the question. I think you might actually do, so I already have like three of the pirates had, so overall this is not a great reward, so I'm just going to reroll that and see, if hopefully I get another of those rewards. Oh, by the way, this is my 400th hard clue, that's actually sick, let's see what I get. Holy shit, that's a lot of items. <laughs> Samurai kite shield, gilded kite shield, dude, back in the days, holy shit, in like 2007 or something, this would be worth so much. But anyways... You still get that festive box, so let's see what we get from that. So that's a pretty good reward, by the way. So let's open this, and we... What the hell? Is that two turkey drumsticks? I have no idea how good that is, but it's completely useless, I would assume. At least for an Iron Man, it is. Alright then, we're going to do 280 skills real quick here. I have 79 Hunter, which is going to be 80 in just a second. And then we have 35... Actually, 27,000 experience to 80 farming. So I'm going to be doing that right now. Alright, that's 80 farming achieved, and the only skills I lack under 80 now is thieving, agility, invention, and runecrafting, so I do want to get 80 agility, I'm not going to do that right now, but that is actually a requirement for the quest that I kind of want to complete, which is the light within, you can see that, and I also do need, to, do need to do meeting history, so I guess that's some future goals for me, which looks really cool. And yet again, we have another chance of getting that Quintus Signet, which is the last one I need to be able to make the main hand crossbow. Now, I do need 89 fletching after that if I were to get it, but I'm very close. I have been doing a lot of the fletching dailies, as well as just doing, like, the magic logs that I get from Araxor and U logs. So I'm getting really close. 175,000 experience left. But let's do these nine keys and see what we get. And no, I did not get the signet, so I guess I'll have to go back to creatures again. I'm not going to do that right now, but in the future, I'm I'm really looking forward to getting that ascension crossbow. You have no idea, like, killing the Quintus boss is not fun. It's, like, one of the most annoying ones of them all, so hopefully I do get the signet in the near future, because then I'll have a main hand tier 90 ranged, and my noxious staff is going to be coming soon, as soon as I get that last leg piece, so... That would be two tier 90s that I can get, which is really good. It's been a day since I claimed my last clue scroll, so I guess I should be able to get another hard clue scroll that we can do, and you should be able to reroll that one as well, because you should get a daily reroll. And yeah, we do get another hard, so let's do that real quick and hopefully get something good. No, this is very sad. I was going to open it, and I was like, palms are sweaty, mom spaghetti, you know, I was really nervous of getting a bad reward, and I opened it, and I was like, damn, that's a bad reward, I got a really shitty one, like 110k, and I rerolled it, and after rerolling it, I realized I'm not recording. So yeah, hopefully I don't get copyright strikes for saying mom spaghetti. But I don't think that happens. But anyways, this is the reward that I got, and, uh, well, it's pretty bad. And, uh, I do have this, though. Hopefully I don't get turkey legs from it again, so let's see what it's going to give me. And I get, what the hell, I, okay. I guess that's an increase, because these heal 375 instead of 200. Cheers. 
I do have about 1,600 blue charms in the bank, but the problem is I do need adamant bars from Aviancis to be able to use them, but I can use all of the crimson charms that I have, and I think it's due to do that, because it's been a long time since I did summoning, so we're going to be using 3,200 crimson charms, which hopefully will give me a decent amount of experience. I'm currently 90 summoning, and I just put this meter up to 96, and let's see for how far we can get. Currently on 7%, and I'm going to finish all these and let's see where I'm at. And that is all the charms completed. I now have 92 summoning, so only 4 levels left. And I might be close to a level. Ah, fairly close, 400,000 experience. Overall, I did get 1,079,000 experience from all those charms. And I do still have these charms in the bank. So I, I still have like a million experience. I think the blue charms are worth roughly double the amount of a crimson charm. At least from what I'm... I've experienced of using them, so I should be able to get fairly close to 96. I might be like 1,500,000 experience off or something, so the charms that I get in the near future is going to be great from Araxor and all that, because when I do get to 96, I'm just going to make Pachyax and use those for PVMing instead of Tortoises, which is very good, because the Tortoises are actually kind of annoying to get, because you have to kill those warped Tortoises, which is not that fun, they're kind of annoying to do, uh, because of the drop rate of the shells. But overall, that is going to be it for this video. I do hope you guys enjoyed it, and if you did, please leave a like, and I'll see you in the next one, guys. Take care.